Did you three, two, one? Hola! <laughs> Hola! Welcome to Food Talk TV! It's Sketchy Chef and it's Friday and we're keeping it sketchy and we're ready to cook. Okay? We're going to be making some baked, not exactly ziti, but ziti. Ziti because it's like a tube, but it's, I don't know what the heck, some tube tube. So whatever it is, ziti style, okay? It's going to have some ground lamb, some ground sausage, ricotta, some herbs. Okay, so let me do this so I can do this. Ready, set, and I'm going to start by making myself a little uh, refreshment. <laughs> Ashley says, hey, sketchy. Oh, hola, hola. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. James Nender says, happy Friday. Happy Friday. I'm going to make myself an adult beverage because it's Friday. Fox Scone says, hey, sketchy. Hola. Okay. Then let me grab a little, a little. I don't know why I did that. I did it backwards, but it's okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but guess what? I'm just doing this for pretty, for myself. And I don't know if this is going to work. I don't need that much. Let's see here. So I'm making myself a gin and tonic. But that's so plain, so I'm just trying to spice it up a little bit. Okay? With a little bit of color. So it's not so blah. How about them apples? Hmm. Kinda, kinda. Ta-da! Okay, let me get my ice, okay? Give me my. Okay? Where's my ice? Where's my ice? Hey, Sketchy. Hola! Hi! Hola! How's so, we're Friday? having a drink? My Friday is great. Your Friday is great? My Friday is great too. I'm starting okay. with an adult beverage. And I'm making a drink. Everybody, gin you're watching Food okay. Talk TV. And uh, we're we're drinking early today. That's not true. It's Friday. I was going to say. Hey there. Hi, Marty. Hi, Ashton. Hi, Dan. Hi, Sam. Hola, everybody. Right. Everybody is in the house. All your regulars are here. Yay. So wait a minute, since since people are here, I just want to say this. When I first started with Food Talk TV, I was terrified to come in the kitchen and cook, and I was terrified, and now it's just like I'm waiting for my friends to come over, you know, and it feels nice. Like, my friends are in my kitchen, I'm cooking for my friends. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's all you're doing. Hey, right? James. So I'm- um, Especially um, Aaron Turner. I'm super relaxed now. City girl says hi, Trisha. Hello, city girl, Maddie. Okay, this is gin. I'm just adding a little bit of lemon to it. I'm going to add um, a touch of agave because it's not that sweet. Just a little bit. Jesse Lee says hi, Trisha. Jesse Lee, chef wannabe is in the house. Hello. Happy Friday. So if you didn't hear me say just a second ago, I am going to be making some beet, be baked ziti. Except it's not ziti because it's this, it's this, okay? So whatever these are, they look like ziti, kind of, it's ziti, but not. So what does the name of that say? It's E. coli? <laughs> I hope not. It's, <laughs> it's whatever that is. Whatever. Okay, so here we go. Here's my gin. And then... I'm going to add my tonic, and then I'm going to start cooking, okay? Frank Mentor says he's ready for happy hour. Jesse Lee, Frank, you want to be... Hola, me too. I'm ready for happy hour. Then, guess what I have? Pomegranate. Because I think it looks pretty, and I don't know what to do with it, so I'm putting it in. Wow. Okay? That's that. All right. Are you hey, ready? you guys. If you're... Yeah. If you're just scrolling through, you should give uh, give us a follow and make sure there's still a, another full day of boating at, um, for the grub match. It's so pretty. They float to the top. It's pretty. You can uh, go to grubmatch.tv and vote for either Sketchy Chef or 
Who's that guy that you were uh, battling against? I'm joking. Chef Bradley. He's one of our stars, too. Is Bradley here? Is he here? Uh, I haven't seen him. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, always, he normally has uh, he normally has uh, physical therapy uh, about the time. With stuff lost. today. All right. So here we go. I'm starting my baked ziti with the ground lamb. And I have ground um, Italian sausage. So I'm going to cook that separate in the pan over here. Come over here, Ethan. On this side. I see uh, David San Miguel is in the house. Hello, David. He's in every one of your lives. Have you noticed that? Do I notice that? Well, of course. He's at the table. <laughs> huh? He says he doesn't know how to say hi, so he says hi. <laughs> I can hear him saying hi. Uh, TikTok Cowboy is in the house. All right, so that's my ground, um, I mean, my, um, oh, my ground lamb, and then here's my Italian sausage. Ooh, you're mixing them both together. Nice. Yes. Lamb and Italian. Love that. So my friend who was Italian, like her grandma was really Italian from Italy. So I don't know, I mean, you know, if Frank even knows, I don't, I'm not saying this is Italian. I'm saying that my friend who was Italian taught me this, but, you know. It's the way they ate it. Sure. So I say it's Italian, but I want to say Italian style. That's fine. So uh, they're, they're asking about uh, if you have to watch Grub, Grub Match Live to vote. No, you don't. You can watch it on Facebook and you can watch it on our YouTube channel. And we have no bias because both both cooks are from Food Talk TV. And it was a Except lot for they of fun. Both play, they, they both play to win, guys. They both play to win. As a matter of fact, uh, on Monday, we have a, a new grub match. And the, um, why don't you tell them about the new grub match? The new grub match, you mean, you mean it's about me and, and, and Oryx? Is that what you mean? So on Monday... Yes. It's going to be against Guava Cooks. Her name is Oryx. Um, our ingredient is peppers. Monday night, 8 Central. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. The audience determines the winner. Um, I'm really excited. I'm excited. She's a spicy one. You know? She's, I think she's owned restaurants in her life. You know, she's, she's a very good cook. So, you know. As are all our cooks, but you know what I mean. I'm excited. She's spicy, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And peppers is a fun, that fun ingredient. That girl can that girl can plate. She can plate her food. She can. She can. She's got some. Yes, you know, she she's got some designs, right? Yes, she does. So it's going to be so. Fun. Somebody was asking whether that's uh, beef. That is beef and lamb. It is a. It's pork. And lamb. The pork. Pork. pork I'm sorry. Pork and what is, you know, Frank said something yesterday. I'm going to say it. This is fake Italian. I'll say that. He said fake Mexican. <laughs> 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 he, said he, he said he made some fake Mexicans. I'm making some fake Italian, okay? And for, Mar you, this, for Marty, this, this, is, uh, this is fake vegetarian. <laughs> So true. <laughs> okay, let me let me put my noodles in. October dragonfly is in the house. She hello. says sketchy. Hello, hello, Christine. It's so quiet. I don't know. It feels like something is... Uh, why is it so quiet? We because you don't have the music on. We need music. Oh, wait a minute. We're on live. We're on live. Right? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that, that would be... Uh, uh, Moses is live. I had my music on, and then I turned it off for the live, so maybe that's why my house is so quiet. But, All right. Let's so how long does it take that pasta to cook? Um... Uh, Give 
me um, uh, nine minutes. Can you do nine minutes on a timer for me? Sure. Alexa, set a timer for nine minutes. Nine minutes. Nine let's, minutes. let's see one of the um, one of the noodles. You said that it's not ziti. Let's see what it looks like. See these? It looks That's like ziti to me. Yeah. Well, they have a different name, but I'm calling it bacon. Okay. No. All right. Yeah, it looks like ziti to me. Frank would probably know better. Frank would know. I don't know the name of that, whatever I showed you. Okay, now, I always start, start with fresh made sauce. Okay, so that's what we're going to do now. Oh, this is my name. Come on, your side. Okay, come on, your side. So you're using uh, canned tomatoes or fresh tomatoes? Canned, canned. Um, sometimes I use fresh. Today it's canned. Canned tomato. And I'm going to use a lot of garlic in this because mm -hmm. I love a lot of garlic in my sauce. You know what? Marty said, no, no. Frank says it's like penne without the point. What? The ziti? And uh, uh, what you have. And Marty says, that it's a thinner rigatoni? Or is, she's asking, is ziti a thinner rigatoni? I don't know. I don't even know what the name says on that thing. It's just a tube. You can use any tube of pasta <laughs> or a noodle, but then it won't be ziti. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Ashton, she's making a uh, ziti, a uh, big ziti. Why do I have so much? And that's for everybody, not just Ashton. Okay. Jesse, Jesse is asking if you're using a Victoria sweet onion. This is a sweet onion. Yes. Okay. Sweet onion and garlic. I'm going to put this in my olive oil before I add my tomato sauce. And it is a canned crushed, crushed tomato sauce. So I have a question Frank for says, what's everybody making for dinner tonight? That I'd love to know. Because my kids have been requesting this for days and days and days. Yeah, guys, what you got? It's Friday night. We're going into the weekend. What are you making for dinner? Is it going to be a lazy night? Phoenix Granot says, shake and bake pork chops, potatoes, and squash. Wow. We've got fettuccine al alfredo, yeah. spaghetti and meatballs. Marty okay. says, no cooking for me today. We've got Sarah.86 dot, dot says, Mexican food. Sounds good to me. It all sounds good to me. Take out. Someone said take out. Um, okay, wait a take minute. Out. Wait a minute. So for the grub yeah. bag, you want to talk about it or you want me to talk about it? No, go ahead. Okay, so for so I want everybody, if you know about grub match, raise your hand. I want to see it in the comments because I have my iPad and I'm looking right at it. I want to know if you know about grub match, okay? Because if you don't know about yes. grub match, well, if you know about it, you're gonna hear about it anyway. <laughs> and if you don't know, <laughs> On Monday, right here on Food Talk TV, we have the only cooking style competition show on TikTok. Okay, it's live and it's an hour long. And after the show, you, the audience, gets to vote for the winner. So we are looking Someone for says hello. We're looking for competitors. Yes, we are looking for competitors. All you have to do is go to grubmatch.tv, scroll to the bottom of the page. And there's a button to submit your audition tape. What time on Monday? It is 8 p.m. Central Time. Central Time. And Gina, we can't wait either. It's going to be a good time. It's always, it, last time was kind of tense. 
it was kind of tense. It, it, um, uh, both competitors cooked and cooked and cooked and cooked. Um, the voting is still fun. open, so we don't, so we don't know who's going to win yet. And uh, uh, Kaylee York says that last script match wanted her, made her want to make uh, sloppy joes tonight. Okay, well, go for it. That's awesome. Uh, someone said, "Hey to, Mo to Moses, the chef guy," but I don't see him in here yet. Maybe I missed him. Okay, you can come back on this side. Dancing Puppy, hello. Hello, Dancing Puppy. Dancing and, Puppy, uh, fellow Texan. Thank you, Mari, for, for putting the Grub Match information in the comments. Uh, Mari was our first contestant on Grub Match. I don't think it's on. So this is how I start my sauce. I always start it with onion and garlic. And let's come back to the meat over here. So for anyone that's missed it, in this pan I have uh, ground pork, like Italian, you know, Italian style, and lamb, yeah. ground lamb. Let me tell you, the lamb adds such a delicious flavor to the ziti. You know, I feel like beef doesn't do it justice, you know, if you add beef. I mean, I feel like if you've got that, that's great, but lamb gives it, kicks it up a notch, you know? Yes. Hello, Laurie. We missed you at Cooking Club. Laurie, beautiful. I miss Laurie. Okay, see, I can smell this lamb with the sausage. It just smells so good. I bet it smells good over there. It smells really, really good. So, Kaz, what are you making for dinner? Um, Subway. <laughs> the Mexicali. Okay. And Ashton, yes. Ashton, yes, I see your comments. You're answering questions about the garlic. Yes, I, I do see those comments. Yes, uh, I've got Subway, and I've actually been eating. I, I got a uh, I got a foot long. I never get a foot long. I normally get the six inches, but um, you know they just don't put as much on their sandwiches anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then, you know, you get to the point where you say, I could make this better, but you're too lazy to do it. Exactly. But it's Friday and you don't want to. That's right. right? It's Friday and I don't want to. Okay. Let's see on lower. I don't think the air is on. Deanna Smith is in. It's in the house. I'm sorry, everybody. I didn't read everything that everybody was having for dinner. I'm just curious. You know, I always ask everyone what they're eating for the day. <laughs> so we've got uh, a bunch of people in the house. Could you please put your um, your state or your country where you're at right now, just so that we can see? How many minutes on my pasta? Guess what? All right. I felt it in my bones, you know? You did feel it. I felt it in my bones. Let's just stop. Tennessee, my Kentucky, Virginia, yes. Alabama. Ashton says your pasta's done. And she's from Sweden, by the way. Wait, wait. Did I see something weird? Whisk. Wait, wait. Oh, oh okay. I, uh, Christine was answering a question. I thought she was saying that she was from whiskey and pie someplace. I don't know. 
Uh, Sherry is from Texas. We've got Arkansas in the house. Hi, Gina. <laughs> Illinois. We've got South or North Carolina. <laughs> Madi from Chicago. Madi, are you from a um, suburb of Chicago or the city? We've got Boston, Mass. Hey, Chris. That's so Chris is in the house. Hi, Sarah. She's from Georgia. You guys, if you're just scrolling through, please, please give Food Talk TV a follow. We go live every single day, sometimes twice a day. Portland, Oregon. Oh, you're from the city of Chicago. Okay. And uh, Vivers0411 says that if your heat is too high, it'll burn the garlic. Who said? Vivers0411 says, says that if your heat is too high, it'll burn the garlic. Oh, if my heat so, is too high. Yes, that's, yeah. you can burn the garlic. <laughs> it's probably burning. <laughs> it's, it's burning. Okay, so uh, what are you doing there? You've already you've already taken that's your ZD your ZD. So I yeah I drained my pasta and now I'm gonna add the ricotta right into the pasta. Okay. The ricotta. <laughs> Jimmy Sanchez is from uh, Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, uh, Mari says that she is one thousand percent Chicagoan. One thousand percent. I was born in Chicago. I think I told Maddie that, but I've been a Texan longer than I've been a Chicagoan, so I consider myself a Texan. Now. Mm -hmm. No offense to any uh, Chicagoans in the house, right? Okay, so I'm yeah, putting this a... straight in here. Okay, now. Uh, Ashton is asking, does most of the food you make for your family get eaten? Does what? Does most of the food that you make for your family get eaten? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Because, eat everything. <laughs> because, because not only do you have lots of kids there, you have Micah who eats for three, right? <laughs> yes, Kendall, Micah eats for three. Uh, so <laughs> yes, but yes, uh, so the, other day, the other day we did grub match and the kids had already eaten dinner. So that night they picked on my stuff, but then, um, the next day they ate the leftovers. So, so yes. There's somebody in here who says, Hey, bestie and wants to call me twin. So. Bestie, <laughs> that would be Sherry. She came in right at the good part. Okay. Right at the good part is when is whenever Food Talk TV is on. And oh, guess what? We're on every day. So uh, tomorrow will be um, Ashton. I think she's also going live uh, right after your, right after this live too. But tomorrow morning, uh, Ashton will be live on Food Talk TV. Um, we normally have Chef. We normally have Chef Bradley on um, on Sundays, but he won't be on this Sunday because this is birthday, right? But I do believe that uh, Sherry Skinner will be on. How many tells she is making baked baked ziti? She's already made a cocktail. Uh, that's a fresh sauce that's awesome. that she's making. Yeah, she just uh, sauteed off the onions and the elephant garlic, and she just added the tomatoes. 
So I added fire roasted crushed tomatoes, and I'm going to add some tomato sauce as well. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I am today because I, I have three, uh, three pounds of, of pasta. And actually, those bags are not the 16, they're like the 17.1 ounce, so it's a little bit more. So because I have a little more pasta, I'm going to add a little more tomato. Okay. Just to make sure everything is covered, you know. Sherry will be on Sunday at 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, and Mari says that she's craving pasta now. That's a girl. You know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, the ingredient for this week's uh, rub match is peppers. It's going to be uh, either hot, mild, uh, uh, black pepper, white pepper. Doesn't matter. They just need to use peppers. They need to feature peppers in all their dishes. Which is going to be a challenge, I think, for dessert, right? Who well, knows? We weren't required to have it. Tune in to find out. What? We weren't required, but I don't think it's a challenge. Peppers are easy. Peppers chocolate, are had easy. Me, okay. chocolate had me crazy, you know? <laughs> yes, this, this last week, for anybody who didn't see it, you can go to YouTube or Facebook and see uh, the competition. And you can still vote on the competition, by the way. Uh, if it's pepper, it was chocolate, and they had to incorporate chocolate into all their dishes. I believe um, uh, Chef Bradley made a chocolate ravioli that was filled with uh, uh, cheesecake and cherries. Yep. And he also made a chocolate linguine uh, that was topped with a arugula. And a uh, and the butter sauce, and our very okay, own sketchy I'm chef. Left over. Go ahead. What did you put in there? Oh no, I'm just gonna add these little, little, little cherries. I mean, cherry tomatoes in because they're just left over, and I like them. Uh, you know, like a whole piece of tomato when it pops in your mouth. And I like to leave them yeah. all because I like them, but then the kids, if they don't, they can pick them out because they don't dissolve completely this way. If I would have, um, you know, cooked them first, then they would have kind of dissolved down more, but I want these to be a little chunkier. I'm going to let this simmer a minute because obviously, you know that to, to make a good sauce, it takes a couple of hours, right, to simmer down. But in the name of time, we're just going to halfway simmer this. It's still going to taste delicious, Okay. Oh, we're all willing to sit with you for a couple hours. Oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, now everybody's willing. Here, let me just come over here. It's too hot. Let me add some thyme and some basil, which these I have already rinsed off. Ooh, I love basil so much. Those are scrambled uh, eggs. Did I've you just buy that? Did you just buy those or? Or are they from the plants that you bought? No, a I bought weeks these. Ago? Yeah, I just bought these. No, I have a little plant, you know, but I, it looks sad now. You know, I, I buy the plants and they die. They just die. Oh, David, my son told me that you're supposed to not cut the, I don't know what, pick them in a certain place so the rest can grow and whatever. I think I pick them the wrong way. But I, I had a basil plant outside. But it was really cold and everything froze, so so that's that. Okay, so here's my basil. I'm gonna add it into my sauce. And you could totally use dry herbs as well. You know, I always have Italian seasoning and I always add that in. But fresh is always brighter, you know. Yes. So I'm just gonna add this in here. And I'm gonna add some thyme in as well. Come over here, Ethan. The girl from Sweden says that uh, basil doesn't like the cold. Nope. Basil does not like cold. That's the absolute fact truth. Yeah, Melissa Turner says they love warmth, warmth and shade. 
Actually, uh, uh, the, the few times, not few times, I guess the many times, because I've grown basil lots, uh, it grows like a weed. You know, with the right circumstances, it'll overtake everything. It's like mint. Yeah, once it starts, once it starts growing, you're right. It, it, it does. I wish mine was out of control like that because I use a lot of basil. Well, in the summer, I'll have my plants again, so. Yeah. Okay. This, is not... this Boy, smells so green, good. That green against the red just looks, it just looks delicious. It smells so good. I have a stick here. Let me get this stick. Oh, even, even Lottie just, says it looks delicious. So I'm just going to cook it till these tomatoes start getting a little soft, which they are already. And then I will, I will combine it all into my pan to put it in the oven. And then guess what I'm making? I'm making, well, Christine thought she was the only one, but I think I'm the only one that hasn't made cheesy garlic spread by our very own Kaz. <laughs> so I'm going to make that today. I'm excited that you're making it. Even now, I uh, very well. that's how Chris, that's how Chris made it last week too. Yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. There we go. That's what I'm making. So let's let this simmer a minute. Put some more in here. It seems I can't go backwards on this. Okay, forget it. Yes, forget Carrie, it. Uh, Carrie B says that uh, she planted mint and it, it took over her whole garden. Her whole, her whole yard. So yeah, that's what mental will do. And that's what basil will do too. Okay. Nancy Puppy says it looks so good. I know it's so good. Let me strain this. The lamb is very oily. Thank you, Lori. Lori says that her kids calls it cast bread. <laughs> So, you guys, please stick around for the cheesy garlic spread. We've been making it on Food Talk TV in one way or another for the last couple of years. All right, you want to come over here? On this side? Wait, wait. Cherry says, say that. Say what? Okay. <laughs> Now, I just went and tossed the meat in here. You see that? Wait a minute. I'm taking a drink. Tell us about that drink. That drink was a half an hour ago. Tell us about it. It's ginger, lemon, a little tiny bit of agave, and tonic. Okay? okay. It's a gin and tonic with pomegranates and gold sugar <laughs> for the extra, you know. Yeah. Okay. All right. So in here, I went ahead and added the lamb to the ricotta and noodles. And if you think that this looks like a lot, don't be fooled. This is a meal that my family loves, and they'll probably eat half of it tonight. And the other half later. Yeah, and the other half later tonight, the half of the half, and then the last half tomorrow. <laughs> that's right. So like. I you know, like it, like at midnight. Then that's when they all wake up and, and come into the kitchen. So here's some um, Parmigiano Reggiano. And you have ricotta in there, right? You already have You already have ricotta in there, right? Yes. Okay. There's ricotta. <laughs> now the person that showed me, who was Italian, did this with her hands. You know, she put her hands in it. But I'm a Mexican, <laughs> and I don't want to put my hands in it. <laughs> I need I need this hand for my drink, you know. <laughs> I take shortcuts if I can. I don't want to get all dirty and wash my hands. Like you know, I take a shortcut. Like I ironed my shirt, but I didn't iron the sleeves. Can you tell? No, right? You take shortcuts. You know what? That's amazing that you don't iron. <laughs> you know, I okay, I'm, I'm not joking either because I came out of the military and of course I ironed everything. And when I got out of the military, 
I found that a lot of people iron nothing. Nothing. It took me a no. long time to get used to. I used to iron everything with lines on it and creases, and it's like now I don't iron the sleeves if I don't have to. Whatever. Okay, this is ready for me to put the sauce on. She says she irons everything. You guys tap the screen. Please give us a follow if you haven't given us a follow. Uh, we've been on for 35 minutes and there's only 12,000 likes. There should be 20,000 by now. So tap the screen. Show your appreciation. Just catch you. What's going on? What the heck's going on? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in the sauce to the pasta. So, so you, you know, know what? A lot of people are saying that a lot of people are saying that they they don't iron. Okay, back to the food. <laughs> hey, you don't iron? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know what? Don't get. We only live once, man. It's okay. There's better things to do sometimes. Now wait a minute. If you're going on a job interview, you need to iron. Okay, that's just that's a tip right there. <laughs> Here's some more parmesan. Okay. This is just a little bit So bigger. is this recipe going up on uh, Food Talk TV? So what was that? Is this recipe going yes. up on Food Talk TV? Um, sure. It sure will. Absolutely. Okay, guys, we have a website. Yes, absolutely. Has, yeah, we have a website that has a res recipe blog called In the Kitchen. It's run by... Um, our creator, Frank, who hosts the show, Let Me Be Frank. Uh, and you can find this recipe as well as many, many others at, uh, at foodtalktv.com. Foodtalktv.com. Go to In the Kitchen. Did you want me to say all that? If you, if you have a, uh, if you want to find out how to find out, if you want to find any recipe right at the top of that page uh, at the end in the kitchen page is a search bar. And all you have to do is type in an ingredient and you'll find out everything we've made with that ingredient. That's amazing. So are you telling me that I could have did that easy garlic spread? Or I can do that for sure. Apple dumplings or Ashton's fried chicken. Oh my gosh. Yes. All those things. Or Andrew. You don't have to. These balls! Oh my gosh! That, that's Should right. You don't have to scroll. All you have or to do is, uh, is type type in the ingredient or the creator, and you can find everything. I've got tostones. Who am I missing? Even the tostones. Yes. Yeah. Foodtalktv.com, guys. All right. You see what? You see how I'm doing this? Look, you could mix it your way. Okay, everybody does it their way. But I'm telling you right now that I really enjoy being in the kitchen. I'm really just having fun putting this together. I'm not in a rush. And I like to do it slowly. And I like to just incorporate it little by little. But back in the day, I would have probably threw the noodles in the pan with the sauce, stirred it up, threw it on the table, you know, when my kids were little. I didn't really get to enjoy cooking like I do now because now they're big. So... Definitely, if you want to make this, it's not a big process. I'm just enjoying taking my time doing it. I'm adding the love, you know? You add the love. That's right. John Sim says, made with love. Yes, made with love. That's what I do. Try, I try to. Ashton says that she needs to make this herself. Well, I think the secret ingredient in this definitely, well, is a homemade sauce. Uh, any homemade sauce that you, anybody makes, uh, not necessarily this one, but the secret, secret ingredient is the, is the lamb. That's what makes this dish it's so good. delicious. It's the ground lamb. Ground lamb and, and ground pork. Chris, thank All you right. for putting in the information about Grab Match every once in a while. All right. This is already 
you know, cooked, it's hot. I'm just going to put it in the oven to, to toast some cheese on top. And then I'm going to get with okay. my... With okay. my let me interrupt you just for a second. You guys, yes. we have 11 people who have come through shares. Look right below me. I know that you guys have probably shared a lot, but share, share, share. We want to get a lot of people to come in and see or make the cheesy garlic spread. This is this is worth sharing. And if, if you don't want to share it, at least follow the recipe that you can make it and you can be a hero. All right, here we go. Joanne says she really doesn't like lamb, but she probably wouldn't mind it this way. So I'm going to say something. Before I had lamb in this, I did not care for lamb at all. Um, but oh, when see, I, Je I was reluctant to try it because of the ground lamb, but the ground lamb and the ground pork together, I mean, and you don't have, you, can, you don't have to add as much as I did. Just my kids like it, you know? But um, the first time I had it, I don't think it, it had that much lamb. And, and it's just a, it just adds a nice, like the flavor combination between the pork and the lamb, it's just its own flavor, you know. But I did not like it right. either. I had it like this. So give it a try. Give it a chance. Use a little bit. See, you Joanne, might she, sketchy is right with you on this one. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Judy, she is making uh, baked ziti. And it has lamb and pork in it. And now I'm also going to add a little bit of mozzarella. So it has Parmesan, and I'm going to add mozzarella to the top. And inside, I only put, like, really ground uh, parm and then the, the rougher shred. Ellen is in the house. Hey, Ellen. So there was a comment made back a few minutes ago, but I didn't read it. Uh, from Sarah, it said, next is the mozzarella. So you're right on the nose, Sarah. Now, again, this, this cheese combination, you could add more or less or as much as you like. So if you want more mutts, add it. Add it. And heavy. This is what you say, heavy AF. Okay. <laughs> So I'm just melting the cheese. I'm just melting the cheese on top. Because everything is fully right cooked here. already. Yes, yes. Everything is fully cooked. Um you know what? Oh, you guys are doing a great job of sharing. It's gone from eleven to twenty one people coming through shares. Great guys. I don't want to use my mixer if I don't have to. Do I have to? Do I need to add my use my mixer? No, right? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't use it with uh, do it with the mixer. Sometimes the butter is uh, a little hard, but all you right. just have to mix. You just have to mix it a little a little bit longer. That's all. I softened my butter, so that is not hard butter. So um, okay. Now you said. A cup of cheese. Does it matter which one I use? No, right? You have to use, uh, the, to wait, in order to get a cup of cheese, you need to mix your mozzarella with a Parmesan. So, but it doesn't matter what kind of Parmesan, doesn't matter what kind of uh, mozzarella, doesn't even matter what, whether it's a blend or not. The Parmesan doesn't melt and the mozzarella does. Okay. Was this a cup or half a cup? One cup. So she's got a stick of butter in there, softened butter, and a cup of may mayonnaise. A cup of mayonnaise and this about probably a little more than, I don't know. I'm going to add more anyway because it can be super cheesy. Yeah. Okay. Hey, it's yours. It's yours. But I have at least a cup. And garlic, right? But I'm going to use this better right. than bouillon because I like it. Okay? How much garlic? Does it matter? 
It's up to you. It's up to you. Your bestie says that she can't wait to see your reaction to how it tastes. All right. What, am I, says that, what? what oh, am I missing? Did you, did you put the did you, uh, seasoning? The seasoning of your choice. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be barbecue rub. It could be Italian seasoning. It could be um, Lowry season salt. It's, a, it's the seasoning of your choice. It's the behind. Behind the green one is the red one. That's the one I want. All right. Well, this is cheesy garlic. garlic. I'm just adding it. The what are you using? That's tones, Italian right? Italian seasoning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That works. Yes. That's what I'm going to add. Yes. The, re and I'm not the oregano works really good. Then you just mix it up. Okay. You just mix it up. Well, it already smells good because I can smell garlic and I can smell the Italian. <laughs> So sketchy. How long does this keep in the? Uh, keep going. How long does this keep in the refrigerator? How long does it keep? Forever, as long as mayonnaise keeps. As may long, long as, as mayonnaise, mayonnaise keeps. Butter. How long does butter keep? That's it. That's how, how long, long does cheese keep? keep? But this is not that much, you know. If you have a family, you know, it's not that much. And if you're one person, you could totally cut the recipe in half, right? If you don't you think could. Eat you could, but I would never suggest cutting that in half <laughs> ever because, because, because it's that good. All right. All right. Let's, let me double check mine. Oh, it's already burning. See yes. that? That's my oven here. I need someone to give me those little things behind you, Santa, those uh, hot pads. My cheese is toasty now. Very toasty. But very it's okay. toasty? Yeah, very toasty. On the verge of almost being too toasty. Ta-da! Okay, let's put it over here. No, it looks good. Oh. Not cooking club toasty. No, not that toasty. Close. <laughs> All right, now we can put the bread in. So I think I did. How, how? You guys. Okay, 350. Okay. In okay, your okay. case, maybe 300. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay. Yes. All right, here we go. So the procedure for this is you put it on any kind of bread you have. It could be hot dog buns. Thank you for the gift, Sherry. It could be hot dog buns. It could be bagels. It could be challah bread. It looks like she's using a Italian loaf or a fridge bread. Yeah. Okay. And the the mayonnaise and the butter will keep your bread soft for hours. Not like regular garlic bread where you just where you put it on and uh, fifteen minutes later you have little hard pieces of toast. All right, here we go. You may not have enough spread. You think? Yes, because you, uh, you go gonna, from gonna, edge, gonna, edge, I, edge to edge. Edge to edge. So every yes, piece, um, that's right. Yes. No, you worried me. I have enough. Okay. I have enough. If you go you skimpy on make, it, your kids, like, your kids are going to kill you. Ooh. Hi, Becky Lou, New York. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
I'm excited for this because I think I'm the only one that hasn't made this yet. You Not guys you. in the just... audience. All right. So everybody yes. that yes, she doesn't freeze this cheesy garlic spread that's super simple to make with a couple of ingredients. And this is already on our website. You can practically go to almost anybody on Food Talk TV and find uh, find a video on this. Practically, not everyone's. Don't I don't believe that just like Granny is. Okay. Mama Rose, if you, uh, you missed any part of this live, you can you can watch it tomorrow on uh, YouTube or Facebook. There's a piece of butter. Freeze that. Can I freeze what? The bread before you cook it. Can I freeze the bread? I don't know. Cas, can you freeze this before you bake it? Yes, I answered that question. Yes, you can. Okay. okay. Absolutely. So I have a question. Why would you want to make this and freeze it? <laughs> Why? I know. You have too many. I know. I don't, from, from start to Start to finish, uh, this is a 20 minute recipe. All you do is you grab everything out of your refrigerator and put it together. That's right, that's so Chris. Uh, you guys follow him. Uh, one of his recent videos is this very recipe. Even Chris made it, That's and I haven't made it. I can't believe it. Well, now I am in the club, okay? That's right. That's I'm in right. the garlic spread club. All right. You're right. So this amount made the four pieces. I mean, I went kind okay. of heavy, but. Joanne, you, uh, I would suggest, if, I would suggest Joanne that you just make the, um, uh, make the spread and put it in Tupperware and put it in your uh, refrigerator. It'll keep, it'll keep, uh, It'll keep for a very long time. As long as mayonnaise keeps in your fridge, as long as uh, butter keeps in your fridge, or as long as cheese does. Okay, remind me about that. Okay, what else do I have to do? What, what else was I making? What time is it? Eh. <laughs> My time is up. You've got... You've got... Ten minutes left. What do you? What else do you want to make? Do you want to stay on longer? Um. Well, I have a salad to make. Does anybody want to see a salad? It's just a salad. It's just a salad. Do you guys want? Do you guys want to see her keep cooking? Who wants to see? Organizer a man says, "Do it." Do it. All right. We've got. Uh, yes. Steffi says yes. Becky Lou yes. says yes. Gina says yes. All User right. seven eight six seven says yes. Let's do it. Okay, you guys this win. She's staying on. I just want to make sure I don't burn my bread. Okay, so here's my my oh. big Z. Okay. okay. So how long has your bread been? About four minutes. What was that? How long has your bread been in? About four minutes. That's do you know? I want it to burn before I start my salad. No, it's still melty. It's getting melty. Okay. okay let's get my stuff here. Alexa, set a timer for three minutes. Three minutes. Starting now. I'm not going to make a big salad because. Let me... Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, right after the three minutes is up, then you're going to put the um, put your broiler on. And you're okay. going to just watch it for like two minutes. Okay. Okay. So my Until oven it. is tricky. The door is broken. I'm about to burn it down, probably. That's no, my voice. That's I'm fine. My, my oven. Okay. Because of that. the um, because of all the mayonnaise and the butter, it's uh, it's not going to let the bread uh, burn. Okay. Okay. It might <laughs> might. Uh, uh, spontaneously combust, but it, it won't won't burn. Okay, okay. 
All right, I have some romaine here. Okay. I don't know, it's one of those. Maybe it's not. What was this? I didn't get this in a bag. I bought it from the produce section. Okay. And I've got spinach here as well. So it can look pretty, you know. Okay. Spinach is good for you. Which is, I don't want you to get too invested in this because you only have like another minute. Because why? You only have another minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's just getting melty. But not that okay. melty. A little melty. It's a little melty. It's not that melty. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, oh, no, no, that's fine because you're going to, uh, it's going to be thick and bubbly on top. So it's not going to melt uh, directly into that. You've got a half a cup of Parmesan that will not melt. Okay. So you're, am I broiling yet or what? Yes. Now you're going to broil it. Am I doing low, medium, or high broil? High broil. High broil. And I want you to prop your oven up open at the edge right there. There you go. All right. The reason, All right. everybody, the reason why you, you why you prop your oven open, that little notch is there so that when you're using your broiler, you don't forget about it. And take it from somebody who's forgotten about a lot of stuff under a broiler until, uh, until I've had to open up every door and every window. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be me in a minute. Okay, this is going to have all berries and pears. And I'm going to make a balsamic with olive oil. And I think I have some blue cheese over there. I'm not sure. Or feta. I'm not sure what I have. But it's just going to have berries. I did wash them a little earlier. Ooh. Mm. Blueberries. Jib is 90. Uh... If you go to That's So Chris's page, you can see this right now. Okay. At this Over point, the... you need to go look. You need, you need to go look at your broiler. Nope. They look okay. just like they did a minute ago. Oh, it's starting to get bubbly. Bubbly and some and just a few brown spots. That's all you're looking for. Brown spots, yes. Okay, so I have an Asian Dan pear here. Nice. Dan says, "Don't burn it, Bertha." <laughs> I didn't know your name, was Bertha. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. So this has Asian Ooh, that's pear. Looking beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to put some red. Okay, you need to go check. All right, yeah, guess what? Some of them are toaster than the other ones. Ah, wow, that was that's like because some of them are shorter than the other. It, from here, I can tell you they're perfect. What about my last one? That one in the I'm middle? Or the second one is perfect. I'm just doing the last. I'm doing the last one manually. I've <laughs> been <laughs> <laughs> <At> home. <laughs> I've been in the kitchen for forty years. I can do this, okay? Do not try it at home. <laughs> do not that's try this at home. That's just a joke. But yeah, my my. All right, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So actually, By the way, it went, everybody, it went from being what? not to done. Yes. All right. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, everybody, uh, say hi to Ethan. He's the cameraman today. He's doing a great job, as he always does. He's my guy. And this is just a red pair. So I have strawberries, no, no, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and pear. 
I'm also going to add some red onion because I like the contrast of the sweet and the bite from the onion. So let me get my onion. Can you see everybody? Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> great thumbs up. Maybe that. Okay, I guess I do not have blue cheese. So I do not have blue cheese, and I thought I did, but I guess I don't. So. Okay, so I'm going to add some red onion to this. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then we're going to make a... Thank you. And what I don't have is one of oh I shook this. What I don't have is one of those shakers for the for my um you know oil and vinegar, but I'm gonna add a little tiny bit. So, you know, fresh garlic would be better, but I'm gonna add a tiny bit of this, just a little tiny bit of garlic, just a little bit, just a little bit, and just a little tiny bit of Italian seasoning, not too much. All right, so here's your balsamic and olive oil. I put some Italian seasoning in a little tiny pinch of garlic. It's the better than bouillon garlic. And then this will be going on top of the salad. So I'll toss it all together right before we eat it. And, huh? I better not do that. He's mute. You're, I can't hear you. Kaz, you're muted. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Now I can hear okay. you. Okay. I wonder how long I've been muted. <laughs> okay, so we have requests for you to try the cheesy garlic spread. <laughs> I thought you were just letting me do my thing. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> no. I've been talking constantly and reading comments. Oh, snap. I didn't hear anything. I was just making a salad in, in complete quiet. I'm sorry, everybody. Okay, Sherry says, taste the bread, taste the bread. If that's what I'm going to do here. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try this one. And I like the edges. I want this edge. 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 Edge, 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 edge. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Well, guess what? I like it. <laughs> it has a lot of flavor. Is it why? The why does it have a lot of flavor? Yeah, it has because, a lot of flavor. Uh, like, you know, like when does. I make garlic bread, and I just put um, you know, butter or olive oil with garlic. This is so much richer. 
It's really good. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to better not eat more. And I'm wanting my dinner. All right. Well, so everybody needs to try this recipe, obviously. Which you can go into foodtalktv.com and you can type in cheesy garlic spread or what? Any anywhere on any creator's page and you'll find it. Yes, you can it's go really to <laughs> uh, you can go to uh, Sherry underscore Skinner's page. You can go to That's So Chris page. Um, you can go to my page. What do you think? My cameraman said yes. He said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> he said yes. Ethan said yes. It's really good. <laughs> All right. So that's it for today. Um, we have our, our cheesy garlic spread, French spread. Baked ziti with ground uh, pork and lamb and a salad with berries and pears. There we go. <laughs> I'm Thank so disgusted. you. I know. But anyway, that's it for today. So catch you all on the side. And don't forget to follow us on Food Talk TV if you're not. Okay. Thanks, Grub Kat. match. <laughs> yes, yes, and watch Grub match. Okay, bye. <laughs>